Hey everybody, Mr. Sunglasses here, wearing the 8-bit glasses, so of course it's time for some more NES action. Today we're going to be looking at A Boy and His Blob, Trouble on Blobonia. <clears throat> this game was released in 1990, so it's kind of late in the NES cycle. Not too late, but pretty late. Um, and it is weird. It um, got kind of praise and yet criticism at the same time. Even after I read the manual, it's still a little obtuse. I know what to do in the game, but it just, it's weird. Um, it was released, um, as you saw, by a company you probably really haven't heard of, Absolute. Um, um, and it's uh, partly owned by Majesco, so that's who released it and then re-released it on the Wii U. There was recently a re make or reimagining of it that came out um, and it's on Steam recently and we're probably going to be viewing that very shortly in a upcoming James show but basically you're a kid a blob came down says hey help me out I got a planet to save from nasty food people so you and your trusty jelly beans go off to try and do that um, the game basically centers around two different phases the first phase you're going underground collecting treasures with the blob. Why do you need these treasures? So that you can go to the vitamin store and buy Vita Blaster ammo. Vita Blaster is what you're going to use on the second phase of the game, which is when you feed the blob a root beer jelly bean and he turns into a rocket, so that you can save your planet. Yeah, that's uh, okay. That's right. That's the way it goes. So uh, let's go ahead and start it up and see how it goes, right? This adventure music here going and. So, see, here's my guy. He's got two options. Whistle and feed the blob jelly beans. Now, here, let me go ahead and show you. <laughs> here's what the root beer jelly bean does that I can stay in the root beer rocket. This is going to take me to another planet. You can do this at any time. Problem is, is I don't have any um, vitamins. See, blobs really like vitamins. They turn into weapons with vitamins. Don't ask me. Uh, without these vitamins, I'm not going to be able to make a weapon to try and beat the game, the the final section of the game. As you can see at the top of the screen there, that little TR, that's the number of treasures I left. The number five is the number of lives I have left. Uh, and then the zero is the number of points slash money and stuff that I have. Let's see. Whistle and he'll turn back to normal. And it does not tell you what the thing is again. So you have to remember. See, we got all these jelly beans. They do all different stuff. So this is what happens when you're actually on the planet. So this would be technically the last stages of the game, which you can go to in that well. So you can use a Vita Blaster to kill stuff like this so you can get through easier. Because especially some of the stuff gets really hard to avoid. And it's another one of those games, those classic NES games, where stuff's on the edge of the screen and... Sucks to be you if you don't notice it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and you can see I'm doing really well right now. Da, 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 da. That's okay. Alright, we're just gonna try to maybe make it past this scene. The sunglasses is sucking. And I don't think you can actually. <laughs> fit through the middle of a lot of these. These ones you can. And yeah, it's a pain, and it's a couple different screens of that. Yeah. David Crane. Whatever. So, the real thing of the game is. Hurry up, Blobby. Go to the health food store. And if you have money, you can buy vitamins. And that's what will make the blob turn into a gun. He does not like missing jelly beans, as you can see. He's very sad about that. The controls are a little squirrely, I'll admit. Come on, eat this damn punch jelly bean. The punch jelly bean turns into a hole. Let's see if I'm too far into... Nope, I'm not in a place where you can actually go underground. 
I think that the subway is about the only place you can actually. That's a beautiful skyline in the background there. Hurry up, blobble, blobble. Let's so you can see right over there's a treasure. So, here, eat that. Yeah, there you go. Boop, and I whistle and he will fall through his own hole. Come on over here, and licorice ladder. All the jelly beans graphically look pretty much the same. I don't recall any licorice jelly bean ever being green. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry. Ah, I threw the jelly bean away. Come on, catch it. You stupid blob, I hate you. Um, now I had to fall down through, so see, uh, uh oh. Getting back up is a true mystery, isn't it? And I believe that we have to be careful because the game has no problems with making you fall to your death if I punch a hole in the wrong section. Punch hole. Ah. There we go down. Ah, see, exactly what I'm talking about. And I am so toast. As you can see, it's quite an extensive cave network that you can end up going in. Let's try right here where we get here, Bobby. Catch this. <laughs> okay, well, let's try right here then. Get down, you stinky pile of blob. I'm entirely sure you're not just this kid's wet dream. Too far still, see? Can't fall too many screens. Brutal. So. <laughs> Back in the day before the internet, you can imagine the trial and error involved in this. It's pretty darn brutal. Boy and his blob map. And if I load up a map, it is pretty brutal too. There's actually an underwater step place way far down. Um, that's pretty crazy. So, with the newfound cheat of the internet map in hand, aka um, Nintendo Power, save me. I know that I have to go down here on Sue Baby. Alrighty, buddy. Whoa, okay. run under these guys but no there's no fighting this stuff and the blob of course is like directly immune to everything ever so, okay so we need an umbrella what sounds like an umbrella cola cinnamon apple vanilla umbrella Yep. See, the, the, at first, figuring out all the, uh, you know, beans is kind of trial and, oh, okay, a spider web is not your friend, so I don't know what to do there. Let's see. Um, maybe a C, again, yeah, sometimes it's sound, sometimes it's like think, like cinnamon turns into a, Blow torch.
And here, well, what do you do? Well, vanilla umbrella. You better eat this bee. Yes, uh, the umbrella cannot. S yeah, you gotta be careful. Ran out into it. See that? The game is not forgiving. But you basically have to make it all the way down, and I will show you again real quick here. Because in order to get out once you're in, you use a jack on this. Problem is, is his punch will not go through it. Uh, punch. You cannot use punch up here to get through it. Much as you might like to. So what else we got in here besides punch? Licorice is a ladder. Strawberry. What does strawberry do? Let's see. Eat it. He, you eat that. You eat that. It's a bridge. That's a pretty cool thing. And he will get longer than that. Coconut literally turns him into a coconut that you can roll. Yeah, that's what it does. Cola. I don't recall. Oh, that's right. Cola's when you got to go underwater. Blowtorch, Apple Jack. Apple Jack. Yeah. Vanilla, we know, is the umbrella. Vanilla umbrella. Tangerine. Trampoline. Yes, you can get into space with the trampoline. You can get pretty high. And then you can fall to your death! Oh. I do that on purpose. Then. Root beer we know is the rocket. Honey. Turns into money. Hummingbird, okay. Ketchup? He doesn't like ketchup. He won't catch ketchups. But what they do do what they do is if you lose him, you throw it, he comes back to you. See? He disappears. So there you have it. There's the jelly beans. And you gotta solve it to solve a whole slew of puzzles. Um you basically go down one side. Oops, one second here. Camera down. You go down one side, all the way around underwater. Do 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 do. Get a bunch of treasures. Do 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 do. And then you go back up and jack. And then you can go and buy your delicious, delicious vitamins to turn into a Vita Blaster. And uh, from there, go and save the world. His world, Blobonia. So, boy in his blob. Would I recommend it? Yes and no. If you like a good puzzle game um, and trial and error, lots of trial and error, um, or you can just cheat and use the map. Like the map I just pulled up has a little symbol next to what each thing you have to do for the blob. So, I mean, really, I could probably nail this out really quick. Um, not really quick, but you know. Uh, the controls are a little funky sometimes with your guy. He doesn't stop on a dime, but I guess neither do I when I run. <laughs> when I run. Um, so, yeah, Boy and His Blob. Uh, overall, kind of a fun game, kind of a, a nifty game. Um, it did get a lot of awards from, like, parents' groups for being non-violent, really, except for when you make your kid fall to his death, but whatever. Boy and His Blob, I'd say, yeah, give it a go. Why not? It's pretty fun. Um, definitely maybe my top hundred. I don't know where. Um, the fact that I've heard of it when I was a kid growing up and wanted to play it and did play it, that does say something, I guess. Anyhow, this is Mr. Sunglasses, and until next time, that was some NES action with a boy in his blob. See you later.